Hello students in this series we are going to learn about antenna trainer kit we are going to study various antennas and their radiation patterns now in this experiment we are going to study a simple dipole antenna or it is also called as lambda by tau antenna length of this antenna is equal to half of the wave length of the carrier wave as you can observe that the antenna trainer kit consists of various equipments and the parts like modulation unit or the main unit transmission mast receiving mast rf detector and different type of antennas and other accessories now let us study these parts in detail the main unit generates the necessary signal to study the antenna radiation pattern it uses amplitude modulation technique this unit consists of three main parts that is modulation generator RF generator and a directional coupler. Modulation generator generates the 1 kilohertz sine wave for the modulation. RF generator generates the 750 kilohertz carrier wave for the modulation. Directional coupler is used to measure the power in a forward direction or the reverse direction. Transmitting mast. The transmitting mast consists of the base and a stand. The stand is attached to the base. This base can be rotated along the axis from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. The antenna which we want to study is connected on the top of the stand. The transmitting mast is connected to the main unit. Now let us attach the lambda by 2 antenna to the transmission mast. Now let us switch on the main unit and adjust the transmission power to the 100 microamperes. Receiving mast. It consists of a base stand and a detector antenna and a RF detector. The base of receiving antenna is fixed. The detector antenna is consists of a folded dipole with the reflector. RF detector has a diode detector which demodulates the receive signal and measures the receiving signal power in terms of microampere. Now connect the receiving antenna to the RF detector and make sure that the distance between the transmission mast and the receiving mast is equal to 1 meter. Now adjust the knob on the receiver so that it will be set to 70 microamps which is equal to 70% of the transmission power. Now rotate the transmission mast by step of 10 degrees and note down corresponding reading on the RF detector. Write down all the readings in the step of 10 degrees and note down in the chart below. Convert all the readings into decibels by using a formula. Repeat the process till 360 degrees. After taking all the readings, you can either plot the graph using a software which is provided by the Scientec or you can draw manually. From the graph, you can find out that there are two major lobes and a beam width of 61 degrees. All the necessary material for this practical is available in the description.